the woman ends up giving birth to however many children you wanted to give birth to yeah and then at 50 you you go through menopause you know but of course uh pre-menopause you also deal with menstruation possibly pms uh and after menopause you don't have to worry about menstruation slash pms you don't have to worry about the uh pain of childbirth you don't have to worry about uh whether whether or not you're going to have an unwanted pregnancy uh or or anything like that you know and and, and so well, by the time the woman is 52, because menopause lasts about two years, by the time she's 52, uh, maybe a little later, uh, she's completed menopause, uh, and then there's that day where she realizes, you know, it's been two, even three months since she's uh, menstruated, and she knows that she's not pregnant, so it means that menopause is done uh, and uh, she has complete vaginal freedom. She, she can uh, have sex without worrying about an unwanted pregnancy. She, uh, the man doesn't have to get put on pause for a week because every month because of menstruation. Uh, you don't have to deal with any more of the mood swings that are a direct result of menstruation slash PMS. Okay, uh, you have complete vaginal freedom. And for the eight hours a day that you spend in bed, you know, uh, you can sleep naked if you want to. You know, uh, the man doesn't have to put any protection on to keep from getting the woman pregnant anymore. The woman doesn't have to put any protection on to keep... Uh, any menstrual leakage from getting on the bed uh, so you can both sleep naked and and she can tell the man hey look you know I'm postmenopausal get it when you want it baby you know uh, we're both sleeping naked get it when you want it you know and and, and uh, their love life can actually increase and improve uh, postmenopause you know and so when a woman gets to be 52, 53 years old and uh, she's not in a marriage, she's not in a relationship, she's not with uh, a man who pre-menopause uh, became the father of one or more of her children, uh, then, you know, you start to think back like, okay, this is, this, these are supposed to be the golden years. These are supposed to be the years where I'm pretty much carefree. My kids are grown. They're actually paying me back. Uh, they're actually sending me mail saying, hey, mom and dad, you know, here are a couple hundred dollars. You know, take care of yourself. Do something nice for yourself. Uh, and you have four or five kids, maybe more. I mean, a woman can have children for over 30 years of her life. Okay, most women don't choose to have that many kids, but but uh, even so, you know, and some some women do have ten kids, naturally, not through adoption, but naturally, and and, and so you know you had enough kids, and enough of them turned out right as adults, and they have good jobs, and they decide that they're going to send you money on the regular, you know, and 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 you can actually begin to bank on it, you know, six of my kids each send me. Two hundred dollars a month, you know, and and uh, that's twelve hundred dollars I can count on, on top of you know social security and whatever else, you know. I mean, you don't get social security in your fifties, but still, you know, unless you're disabled. Uh, but anyway, you know, you got money you can count on on top of what you make on the job if you're still working, on top of social security if you're uh, sixty five and older, you know, and and. Uh, you can think back to how, you know, your your vaginal activities, your love life in your 20s and 30s produced your kids that are now paying you back, you know, and, and like I say, you have vaginal freedom, uh, no menstruation, no unwanted pregnancies after the age of 50, you know, and, and then w when you get to be 55, 60 years old, and you're not living that type of life, you're not Mm -hmm. 
making love every night with the man that you've been with for 20, 30, 40 years, you know, then you kind of think back like, okay, you know, if this, that, and the other thing had gone better when I was 20, 25, even 30 years old, then I would be living the good golden years, you know, and, and, uh, I, I could be, uh, sexually carefree with my life mate, and, and, uh, when the grandkids come over, they'd see how snuggly and lovey-dovey, uh, grandma and grandpa still are, you know, and, and, uh, that's how I would have liked for my 50s, 60s, 70s to go, but, hey, you know, what, what happened, happened, you know, and, and so, anyway, woman number five, uh, as she and I spoke, got me thinking, you know, about that kind of thing, you know, and I was like, she, she didn't actually say that, and she didn't really even come close to saying that, uh, but she did say that she was through with the whole relationship thing, at least the marriage thing. She didn't say relationship, but she was through with marriage. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, I just kind of wish that weren't the case. And I'm not hooked on this idea of actually getting married. I can live with the idea of not getting married again. Uh, I can live with the idea of just committing to being life partners. We don't even have to go to the chapel. We don't even have to tell anybody, you know. We can have a one-to-one -one conversation. Uh, we can, and and uh, discuss that. And, and, you know, just hold hands as we stand, as we stand and look at each other one-to-one. -one and we commit to... Uh, basically finishing our days together and who knows it could even carry over into the next life you know yeah yeah you can't fault me for hoping you know but but anyway um so those are just some thoughts that came to mind uh concerning various relationships of mine uh, two of the five women who I described, I wasn't even in dating slash marital relationships with, we weren't even FWBs, but, but they were women who just kind of stood out to me for one reason or another. Uh, they're good enough friends to where I at least thought about, uh, expressing an interest and well, I think woman number five is, is gold, you know, and, and I hope that our feeling turns out to be mutual, and I'm kind of hoping that her telling me that, uh, she was not physically attracted, uh, to the men in her past relationships, I hope that that was a nod to me to let me know, hey, Eric, you're an ugly motherfucker. But, you know, I'm not about looks, so you still have a chance with me. So, I'm, I'm going to test the water, and, uh, and I'm going to see what can happen. All right, I'll leave it there. Oh, wait. This, again, is not uh, one of the beers that this person bought me. It's, but it is the same brand. After I finished this 12 pack that I started uh, two days ago on Thanksgiving, then I'll start in on the 18 pack that this awesome woman bought me. Mm.